Hi, I'm Jacques Pepin, and I'm cooking at home. I love potato pancake, and I've, an easy way I'm going to show you how to, to make it with one potato. I have one egg here, about two, three tablespoons of scallion. I have one potato. I'm going to shred the potato on this side of the grater. Now, you hold your potato as I'm holding my potato like this, three quarters of the way. When it comes to the end here, put your hand flat so that you don't catch your finger. That's it. Aya is here. And maybe on the smaller part here, I'm doing, I'm going to do the onion, the, the, the onion directly in there. I need about a couple of, a couple of tablespoons of a grated onion. Okay, that'd be fine here. For one potato, my onion, and the potato, you want to press the juice out of the potato. This is most of the starch, you know, it in there. Then I need maybe like a, a quarter of a teaspoon at the more, quarter of a teaspoon maybe of baking powder, and like a tablespoon of, a, well, not even, you know, maybe a tablespoon of, of flour, dash of salt, some pepper in it, and that's it. And this is one potato, so of course, you know, you can multiply that by two or three, but that will do a few pancakes. You know, I have about a quarter of a, a, quarter of a cup here. Oh, my thing is, is hot. Yeah. Maybe another one here. This are very large skillet here. Okay, so as you can see here, I have another maybe two, so I'll do like five, five pancake with that, with that potato. So that should cook a couple of minutes on each side. Okay, this is about two minutes on one side. So I turn it. And if you do them ahead, you know, you can put them on a wire rack at the best so they don't get soggy, and then put them back in the oven to reheat it too, or then you do them as you need them. This is probably the best way of doing it. And this is it. Makes a wonderful accompaniment to a green salad like this. One of those, or even two of those, and they are brown, beautifully on both sides, and very crunchy. So this would be a wonderful lunch and I hope you'll try it and happy cooking.